Canyons are formed by a simple equation. Add water, subtract earth. But it's not created in some great moment, like a flash flood or an avalanche. It can take thousands, even millions of years for a river to create a canyon. My work is slow too. When everything is flowing just right and I'm in the zone, it can feel like water carving through granite. Even though it doesn't take millions of years for me to finish a piece, it certainly takes millions of strokes. I guess I'm like a river that way. It didn't take long for me to fall in love with the desert southwest, with its soaring walls and abstract rivers scribbled through the landscape. The shapes and shadows made their way into my art, and they've continued to all these years later. When I think about some of my favorite locations in the desert, I realize they're all born the same way, carved by water. The Black Canyon was sculpted by the tumultuous Gunnison River. The impossibly deep and twisted Grand Canyon was formed by the Colorado. And Zion Canyon, delicately crafted by the Virgin River. Other than eventually dumping into Lake Mead, these three different rivers have nothing to do with each other. Each canyon is made up of different rock. Each one is a wildly different shape with its own sounds and voices. But they are the same creature, water. On paper, I join my three favorite canyons into one confluence. Three canyons that have shaped me the most. I've climbed their walls, swam their waters, and immersed myself into them as just another brushstroke on the landscape. I've filled volumes of pages with line and color, trying to connect with these places in my own way. Passing through a desert landscape, a river becomes a brushstroke, and in turn, nature's greatest artist. I want to be like that, like a river, to find my flow, to be ever-changing but still the same, to make something from nothing. <laughs>